I look my nigga in his eyes, say we rich, nah No more running through the hood, looking for licks, nah I took my jersey out for the wrong one, now I'm pissed off But the bitch mad cause I got that Richard on my wrist, nah I look my nigga in his eyes, say we rich, nah No more running through the hood, looking for licks, nah another video real quick uh, a lot of people been hitting me up you know asking me everything that they need to uh, pretty much get started with trucking you know what how much does it cost to get in the game you know how much do we make those are like the most common questions I feel like I get um, so yeah just wanted to you know give y'all a quick video but before I get started you know make sure you guys are liking the video subscribing bust a comment down if you guys have any questions also, we're launching the first the first course of uh, my class, Trucking 101, and that class is gonna give you guys all the tools you need to get paid trucking and not be over here on the side of the road, you know, or, you know, broke, going to check the check like a lot of these other companies do, you know, or owner operators are doing. So, uh, yeah, so without further ado, what you guys need, you know, to start investing in trucking. Um, so basically the first thing is first, if you're trying to go the hot shot route, um, you need to go and get you a dually. All right, now, first thing you guys are probably gonna say, sorry, I don't know why this is messing up, but maybe because I'm just driving, but yeah. So, first thing you guys wanna do is you wanna go get a truck, all right? Now, I my first truck I bought is this one right here, this is 2022 um, Ford F350. Uh, it's a single single rear wheel uh, truck, all right? I wouldn't recommend getting a single rear wheel truck. Like, this truck performs, it's great. I have no issues with it. Um, I even have a gooseneck on the back of this truck, you know, and for it to not have, you know, you know, the four rear wheels, it handles great. I've never tipped over or anything like that, so, you guys can get, you know, a single rear, a single rear wheel if you're gonna do three cars or less, but I wouldn't recommend it. I would just go, I would get a dually, um, and a dually, if you guys don't know, some people don't know, a dually is the trucks that have four wheels in the back instead of two. All right, so I would go and get a dually, you know? That way, you're not restricted on your weight. If you guys do wanna level up from three to five cars or whatever else you wanna do, you'll have the right, you know, truck to haul it. This truck has the engine to haul it, but it doesn't have um, the axle to support any more weight than I already put on this thing. And and I'd be going overweight, for sure. So, um, you wanna get your truck, and I recommend you guys get, I, I only buy Fords, I only buy, you know, Fords that are, you know, three years old or newer. Um, that's what I recommend. I've never had an issue with any of my trucks. Uh, I've had them for over a year now. They they both have over 100,000 miles on them, just straight hauling cars, and I haven't had any issues. I mean, you gotta change the brakes, and you gotta you know do oil changes and change the fuel filter. You know, every 50,000 miles, do your regular maintenance. But I've not ever had an issue in either one of my Ford F350s. So my recommendation: go to the Ford dealership, get you a newer Ford F350. All right, so that's the truck part. Now, if you guys want to go the other route, a lot of people do. They get a truck that they've had, you know, for some years, it's paid off, it's a little bit older, but they don't, you know, they, they own it. You can go that route. But what I will say is, you might discover some breakdowns and some mechanic costs, you know, and it might end up adding up to whatever the monthly payment could be, you know? And you guys got to remember, if a truck breaks down, not only do you have to pay for that, you know, the maintenance or whatever is, is, is messed up with it, you gotta understand that every day that, that truck's not on the road, you're losing money too. So let's say that, hey, you know, this week, you, this, let's say you make $3,000 a trip and your truck is down for that week, you gotta, let's say you gotta pay $1,500 to get it fixed and then you're losing $3,000 for that week of it not being on the road, you know, you just lost $4,500 that week. So. You want to take into consideration, all right, do I want to go get a newer truck and not deal with any breakdowns or anything like that and spend a little bit more money up front? Or do I want to just take a truck that I own already 
and maybe end up spending some more money uh, every month on breakdowns. Because what I can't tell you guys is, hauling these cars is not like hauling, uh, you know, freight or you know uh, anything like that. You know, these cars they weigh a lot. Now, there's a lot of different moving pieces with them. You know, you got a lot of cars moving on the trailer. They're doing a lot of different things. If you're loading up, you know, three or five cars and they all weigh 4,000 pounds, you're getting up there and weight really, 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 really quickly. And don't let you get a truck or something on here and that's 6,000 pounds or 7,000 pounds, you know, your, your truck is gonna be taking a beating. All right, so my recommendation is, you know, um, get a newer truck you know just lease this rent you know you a newer truck take you know take that monthly payment every month and you know with the profits you'll be good all right the second thing that you're gonna want to check into is obviously a trailer all right so for price ranges for you guys three car trailers are really where you can get in if you're gonna be an owner operator you can have a three car trailer and make some money in this in this business all right um that's what i would recommend if you want to get started if you don't want to spend you know too much money initially then i would suggest get a three car trailer three car trailers they normally range between seven thousand and ten thousand dollars all right so that's how much they normally range from now there are people out there that rent trailers and things like that but i recommend it no all right because your monthly you want to keep your monthly overhead down even though I said get that truck and pay that that bill, that's like a necessity. But you don't want to just be having different, all these different, you know, monthly bills because, you know, God forbid you guys break down or you, you can't operate for a week or two. You know, you want to keep your expenses as low as possible. That so if you're not having any money coming in, there's this, there's 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 the least amount of money still going out. All right. So you want to find you a trailer and like I said, I recommend you guys get, you know, a three car trailer if you want to start out or a four car trailer. Um, anything under 26,000 pounds, you don't need a CDL for. Uh, so keep that in mind. I don't have a CDL personally. Anything I drive is normally 26,000 pounds or it's supposed to be. Sometimes, you know, I can't make that weight, but we try. And then anything over that, you need a CDL. So that's something to keep in mind too. Non-CDL guys. Go with that three car trailer, get out there, make your money. You know, if you guys have your CDL or plan on getting your CDL, then you guys can go big, you know, and you can get a more expensive trailer. I would say if you guys, if you guys uh, do want to go a little bigger, if you have your CDL, you know, it, it, the most feasible option that I've seen are four car trailers. Or you get a three car trailer and you add the little ramps in the front to make it a four car trailer. So that's what I would recommend. You know, you can still get a trailer like the $10,000 range and add the little, the, the extended ramps on the front of the trailer and you'll be able to fit four cars on there. And because you get the CDL, you're allowed to transport that weight. So that's what I would recommend, you know, getting a three car trailer, adding the ramps, making it a four car trailer. So after that, if you guys want to get into the bigger things like my five car trailer, five car trailers normally cost around 17 to $20,000. Um, that's like finding one that's you know fairly newer you know um you, you, you got to keep in mind though if, when you guys are looking to buy these equipment penny pinching is not going to get you anywhere i promise you like you might as well just stay at your day job save up some more money and get a newer trailer that has it's in better shape because my first trailer was given to me nothing against you know the, the, my family that gave it to me but i've had to put a lot of work into this trailer that I'm driving now, the three car trailer. My five car trailer that I bought that was brand new that I spent, you know, $18,000 on, I have to put way less work into it. You know, there's way less things that go wrong with it. You know, from me getting, you know, this, uh, you know, spending way less money on my three car trailer. So just something to keep in mind, you know, you guys wanna, you know, be thorough when you're going to check out that equipment, make sure that the brakes work, make sure that, you know, you know uh, the rotors are fine you know make sure that it has a winch you know make sure that there's no issues with it you know that that you don't see make sure it's not you know cracked or none of the wheels are cracked so you want to just tap in and get that that trailer is the next thing that you want to you want to tap into and get you can get a three car you can get a three car with you know that can be converted to a four car or you can go big and get a five car trailer 
And then keep in mind that anything over 26,000 pounds that you're hauling, is you're gonna need a CDL, and that's normally more than three cars, all right? So, got the truck, and we got the trailer, all right? The next thing that you wanna get is like your equipment, all right? Like, these are like, this is like the things that nobody really tells you, but this stuff, it costs money, and it's not cheap, all right? You wanna get your ramps. Okay, your ramps are gonna probably run you five to seven hundred dollars, depending on how long you, or how nice of ramps you get. All right, and keep in mind, you if you penny pinch with them ramps, all right, you're gonna be mad if they break on you with a car or something on on, on when you're loading it up. So you want to get you want to make sure you get good ramps. You know what I mean? And depending on the length, the longer the ramp, the lower the car you can load on it. Okay, and so when you start looking at what kind of ramps you want, you guys want to get. Just remember that the shorter the ramp, it's going to be cheaper, but that means that the ramps are going to be, it's going to have more of a, a, a decline, okay, or an incline when you're loading a car. So, you know, think about like those Porsches or, you know, lower cars, them little seven foot ramps ain't, ain't going to cut it, you know what I mean? So you, you want to, you want you know, want to keep that in mind. Based on your trailer, you might want to get longer trailer, you want longer ramps. Okay, so ramps. Also, you guys wanna make sure you have a, 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 a battery pack, a jumper, all right? I can't tell you how many times I've been at the, at the auction picking up a car, I didn't walk 30 minutes to get to this, this car and it don't start, all right? So y'all wanna make sure that you get a really good battery pack. Don't get the cheap stuff, all right? Or, or just make sure that you're focusing on the voltage. We have, I think they're 4,000 volt battery packs. That's what we use and it starts cars right up it ain't no problem but before that i had like 1200 volt battery packs and it was hell they didn't do nothing it was a waste of money so make sure that you guys are getting you know around 4000 volt uh, battery packs to where if you are in a bind where you have a car that won't jump you'll be able to um you'll be able to jump it and, and get to where you got to go okay um another thing um sorry another thing that you guys want to do as far as equipment you guys got to make sure you guys get a fire extinguisher extinguisher in the car that